So Jenny has taken the high road. I've taken the low road, the low tide road, I should say. It's really cool down here, actually, walking along the stones and the sand. Hello there and welcome to today's video where we are walking the Thames. So before we get started properly, I'm going to just point something out to here at East India Station. Now on the building here you will see a line. This is actually the Greenwich Meridian Line. So this house is actually in two different hemispheres. You've got your kitchen, which is in the uh, Western Hemisphere, and you've got your bedroom, which is in the Eastern Hemisphere. Talk about a big house, right? Okay, so this is actually where we're starting from, which is the Royal Victoria Docks. I have already done a part of this walk um, on the North Bank, and I can tell you for a fact that the South Bank is much more interesting. So that's where we're going now. Yeah, there's only two ways to get to the South Bank from here. You can swim, or you can take everybody's favorite means of transport in London, the cable car. Vroom, here we go, vroom, vroom. Now we're inching closer and closer to the O2 Dome. What this actually means is that if you were to travel around the world, starting here and coming back here, it would be 24,859 miles. So yeah, it is definitely a very nice walk. And uh, we've been walking now for about, I don't know, 45 minutes. Feels like it should be off limits almost. It feels like we're trespassing. We're going this way, although it does say dead end. So what are you going to tell me, Jenny? I'm going to tell you what you can see from here. Go for it. Hopefully all the interesting stuff is on this side, yeah? yeah? You can see the Greenwich Power Station, which I don't think is in use anymore. You can also see uh, the Greenwich University and the Naval Hospital buildings. Yeah, you can just about see the top of the Cutty Sark. You can see the top of the Cutty Sark.
I imagine most of you watching will be doing this route in the summer when it's a lot warmer and a lot sunnier and you're probably wondering, Peter, where do I stop for a pint? Well, I can thoroughly recommend the Cutty Sark. It's a very cool old pub. So Jenny has taken the high road. I've taken the low road, the low tide road, I should say. It's really cool down here, actually, walking along the stones and the sand. Jenny's probably quite uh, jealous that she didn't take this route too. And uh, once you get to Greenwich, there is a very nice surprise waiting for you over here. This is the Cutty Sark. It used to be a tea ship in the 1700s, uh, but now it has been refurbished and restored. Uh, there is a museum which you can visit, and in, in summer you can go on board. And if you want to grab a cup of tea, there is a very nice cafe downstairs. Next time on Walk the Thames, Jenny and I are going to Tower Bridge, starting here in Greenwich. Ambitious? Possibly. Picturesque? Definitely. Will we see you there? Hopefully. And yeah, we'll see you next time on Walk the Thames.